Welcome back and I've got another really fun experiment to show you today. What we're going to look at is this little piece of apparatus and it's called Hero's Engine. So a little bit of a story. This might be the oldest experiment or one of the oldest experiments I show you. Hero's engine was invented by Hero of Alexandria. Uh, he was an Egyptian mathematician and scientist. And it was known uh, really as Hero's Heliopile. Um, Helios being the Greek god of wind and air and pile meaning ball. So it was a very, very early steam engine. And the records have it that it was never actually used to do any work. It was just a fascinating toy to watch. So what we'll do now is I'll get this set up and I'll show you what it does. So we've got our little Heroes engine set up now. Uh, what I do is I use distilled water or deionized water from the chemistry department and I suck the water in through uh, one of the arms of the Heroes engine. That seems to be the easiest way uh, to fill it up. So the level is just below um, the exits where the steam's going to come rushing out. So let's put a Bunsen underneath it now and get it going. OK, so let's light the Bunsen and start to warm up the water. I'm not going to have a full roaring flame. I think that's going to be a little too hot, uh, but we'll have a slightly lower flame and give it a few moments for the water to boil. So the water's beginning to boil now and we'll start to get some steams out of the arms of the Hero's engine. And then hopefully if we give it a little flick, it'll begin to rotate. You can see it beginning to go now already. So for a very quick explanation of how our Hero's engine works, it's pretty clear we've got the uh, glass bulb here and when we heat that we produce steam inside the bulb. The steam comes rushing out horizontally along these pipes and then the nozzles turn through an angle. And the important thing is that the nozzles end up pointing um, sort of at 90 degrees. So the steam was going that way and in this nozzle it's now coming towards me. It's changed direction. Therefore, it's changed velocity. And if you change velocity, there's been a change in momentum. So uh, mass and velocity, mass times velocity, momentum going that way has changed to mass times velocity going this way. And if there's a change in momentum in this direction, then there must be a force to cause that. And that force will force the tube in the opposite direction. Now, if you have a nozzle on this side that points the other way, this one is going to be uh, forced one way, this one's going to be forced the other way, and you're going to get rotation. So there's a torque on this system. It's a, actually a couple, so uh, two equal and opposite forces separated by a distance from the centre, and that's what causes the rotation. So it's a momentum device. So I do hope you enjoyed that video on Hero's Engine, a lovely and ancient piece of apparatus and great fun to use as a demonstration. Anyway, I'll be making another video soon and I look forward to seeing you then. Um.